I'm Jitsal Puente with Two Works for You. Here are today's top stories. Tulsa police are looking for leads after a man was found shot in South Tulsa. Officers responded to the Sugarberry Apartments near 61st and Garnett after 4 this morning. When they arrived, they found the man in the parking lot. Police tell us that victim is in critical condition. If you have any information that could help, please contact the Tulsa Police Department. Investigators are also searching for a suspect involved in an early morning shooting in South Tulsa. This happened before 1.30 at the Wedgwood Court Apartments near 61st Street and Peoria. Police say a man was shot in the leg and was taken to the hospital. He's expected to recover, but authorities say he's not cooperating with this investigation. About nine months ago, the Army Corps of Engineers began a study to improve the Sand Springs levees. But after major flooding we saw last month, the Corps is being asked to get it done in half the time it would normally take with a year and a half goal. Senator Jim Inhofe co-signed a letter that asks the engineers to finish their study by the end of this year. The recent flooding could actually help speed up the study, giving engineers valuable data on how the levees withstand extended periods of heavy pressure. Now let's get a check of today's forecast with meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. And Kerrigan, it's been very hot lately. Oh yeah, and it's going to be another hot one again today. The only activity we're tracking on radar is off to our east this morning, seeing nice clear skies all throughout the Tulsa area. So blue skies for the rest of your Saturday. Highs rising into around 94 degrees for us here in Tulsa, as well as Ponca City and Stillwater. Look off to our west. Oklahoma City plan to reach around 96 for this afternoon. Add in that moisture in the air. Heat indices going to be in those upper 90s to near 100 later in the day. So stay safe in this heat. Remember to stay hydrated, wear light clothing, and don't forget about your kids and your pets. Make sure to keep them safe as well. Here's your seven day forecast. Remember that we are tracking some storms for the 4th of July, sadly, but until then, stay nice and dry with temperatures in those lower 90s. Lots of sunshine. Giselle? Thank you, Kerrigan. That was our digital update. Keep checking for more throughout the day.